Ankle fractures are common and painful injuries. They are often the result of twisting or rolling the ankle. In order to understand treatment for ankle fractures, it is important to have a general understanding of the anatomy of the ankle. The ankle joint is comprised of three bones, the tibia, the fibula, and the talus. The bottom of the tibia forms the bump that can be felt on the inside of the ankle. This bump is known as the medial malleolus. The bump on the outside of the ankle is the bottom of the fibula. It is known as the lateral malleolus. The fibula and the tibia enclose the top of the talus in a space known as the ankle mortis. It is very important that the talus sit nicely inside the mortise, otherwise it can become damaged. A complex of ligaments hold the tibia and fibula together. These ligaments are known collectively as the syndesmosis. If the syndesmosis is damaged to the point that it does not hold the tibia and fibula together firmly, the ankle becomes unstable. Many ankle fractures can be treated without surgery. Minimally displaced, stable fractures can be treated with casting. The bone forms a callus that heals the fragments together. Ankle fractures usually take about six weeks to heal. If the ankle fracture is unstable, meaning that the mortise may widen around the talus, the fracture may be treated with surgery. Surgery may be postponed for a few days if the ankle is too swollen. A large amount of swelling can result in large fracture blisters. It can also make it difficult to close a surgical incision. If surgery must be postponed, the ankle is placed in a splint that allows for swelling. An open reduction with internal fixation is usually performed. An incision is made at the fracture site. The fracture is reduced or put back in place. A lag screw is often used to pull the fragments together. A plate and screws can then be used for solid fixation. The syndesmosis, as was previously mentioned, is a complex of ligaments that hold the fibula and tibia together. If the syndesmosis has been disrupted and is unstable, a large syndesmotic screw may be used to fix the fibula to the tibia. If the medial malleolus has also been broken, another screw or wires may be used to fix it back in place. After surgery, a splint or cast may be applied. The hardware usually does not need to be removed. Syndesmotic screws often break after several weeks, but only need to be removed if they cause discomfort.